For the month of April, the angels of Atlantis have gifted us something truly special. They've gifted us their hearts, eternally loving, enormously gentle, flowing with grace, and yet strong, bold, courageous, and especially wise. For you see, their hearts arrive just for you and me in the form of sacred sigils as magical symbols that literally see through everything. Indeed, they penetrate through all the vistas of thought, feeling, and matter that make up our lives, all the way to the goodness within that lies in our souls. They come whilst a revolution in earthly conduct is taking place, because within the seen and the unseen worlds, there is a great shift occurring within the life of the galaxy and within the life of our planet, and therefore within our lives. And this all happens, of course, in tandem with the procession of the equinoxes, because as we know, the twelve planets of the universe have drawn themselves together in direct alignment for the first time in thousands of years. As a result of this, there is a renaissance of love happening right now, everywhere, within and without. And so the angels come together at this time in amplified form as a unique collective, like a summit conference, to provide us with their wisdom and their bounty. Being this close to us means the angels can share their exquisite hearts with, with us all and drench our beings with their love and light. You see, the angelic orbs as we see them and the heart sigils coming together are both delicate and brave, composed of the fiery plasma that lies deep in God's furnace. A fire that was lit at the very beginning of creation as a beacon for all that is loving and good, and a fire that will burn on for eternity. So the angels are coming in this form during this particular transmission with a vibratory capacity for all time to love for the sake of love. And so let's look at the three cards that the angels are revealing to us today. Firstly, there is Jophiel. Jophiel is the spirit is, is the angel of the spirit of liberation and wants us to see the uniqueness of this time, this time that we are all living through so that we evoke the ecstasy of that that is thrilling. You see, this time is a unique phenomenon on planet Earth. So gaze into the three ancient Egyptian pyramids and you will see why this thrill is so implicit. The stars that hang above the pyramids were aligned with each one on December the 3rd, 2012. This only occurs every 2,737 years. It was a sight to marvel as we see Mercury, Venus and Saturn, respectively the god Thoth, Hermes, if you like, the goddess Hathor or Aphrodite, and the king god of Cyrus or Zeus, descending onto earth to give a special benediction. So please review your own life to see where thrill lies. And if you haven't felt thus for some time, the drawing of this particular icon means that your desire will soon be met. And then the second card, which is the desire of the great angel of sacred love, Safkil. And this particular quality, as you see, is euphoria. Safkil's heart sigil wishes for you feelings of well-being, happiness, excitement, and transcendent joy, states of being that perhaps you haven't experienced for some time. This lover angel, this sacred lover archangel, has heart magic that allows the power of sustainable happiness to happen in our lives. Therefore, we, it enables us to relinquish any hold that we may have over aspects of our life that do not resonate joy. So feel the beautiful sense of contentment pervasively spreading through your being as Safkir works the, the angel healing of euphoria. Euphoria itself is a word derived from the ancient Greek originally from Atlantean, and can be defined as a state of heightened well-being known as the power that endures all crises. 
And when experiencing euphoria in our lives, you will release wonderful hormones such as serotonin and oxytocin, which are designed to electrify your being. So gaze on the beautiful proportions of the ancient Parthenon. It's been standing as an element of enduring euphoria from the classical period to the present day. It is wise, it's knowledgeable, it's courageous, and especially aligned with the verities of life. It was governed by the goddess Athena, and she symbolizes the profound wisdom of the culture that arose from ancient Greece. So ponder on this icon and feel the sacred majesty of euphoria seeping deep within your physical geometry. Feel Safkiel working specifically on the Ajna, the brow chakra, and you will feel the joy of this particular archangel's elixir spreading through you. And then the third card is Radziel. Radziel is the angel of the mysteries and brings us to an understanding of eternity. You see, the symbol for eternity is depicted in, in the midst of this icon against the astonishing beauty of the Sistine Chapel. Through the tender touch of the hands of God and Adam, a delicate and unique relationship is created reminding us of the eternal promise we made as sparks of the divine to make manifest our love and joy and our tenderness in the world. For you see, God breathed into the nostrils of man, and man became a living soul. So your choice of this card means that Radziel wishes you to attune with this special frequency and to see the Ouroboros, the snake chasing its tail in a symbol of infinity, as the symbol of self-reflexivity, especially in the sense of you seeing your soul as an eternal force constantly recreating itself, purely for the joy of creating again and again and again. And so measure your attunement to this frequency. And if you have a tenuous connection at the moment with the divine, gaze on the beauty of this image. Contemplate what Michelangelo is offering you and then gently chant high through the throat chakra and you will feel a tremendous release taking place as Radziel pours angelic elixir into your spiritual wounds, healing you for eternity. Gaze deep into the sigils of these cards and you will feel a remarkable presence entering into your life.